What's up Active Club? My name is Tyler Ruiz. I'm going to be your trainer today and I'm going to take you through a 45 minute full body strength routine. What you'll need are some dumbbells. I like to go with a heavier pair and a lighter pair just so I can switch it up if I need more of a challenge or less of a challenge for every exercise. We'll be kind of alternating between lower body and upper body exercises as we go. The way it'll be set up is we're going to do a 8 to 10 minute mobility and stretch warm up first. Then we'll go into three separate sequences of four exercises. Um, so we'll do four exercises as a at a time. We'll go through three sets and then uh, we'll move on to the next one. Um, you'll need a mat and you'll also need a bench or chair that's stable, something about just under knee height or lower if you need that. Um, anything stable will work. You don't necessarily need a bench. Uh, okay? So, Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Let's make it even better and let's bring it to this workout right now. All right, we're gonna start off with jumping jacks. We're gonna go for 25 seconds. Ready and go. Stay light on your feet. Let's keep breathing. Let's just get the blood moving, everything activated. Let's get ready to have a really good workout here. I'm excited. gonna break a nice sweat. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Next up we got seal jacks. So similar to jumping jacks, except now we're gonna go open and close with our arms like this. Shoulder width, 25 seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. All right, next is going to be a side shuffle with an inside touch. Okay, touch the inside part of the outside foot. We're going 25 seconds here as well. And go. Sit the butt back. Don't let that knee cave too far inward. Nice and deep. If you have more room, you can shuffle even further. In five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Awesome. All right, now we're going to stand at the back of our mat. We're going to go into an inchworm. We're going to walk out into a push-up position, drop down into a cobra, and then back into child's pose, just like this. We're going. Straight legs, hands on the ground, walk it out into push-up position, drop into cobra, a nice abdominal stretch, now knees out, we're going to drop back into child's pose, back into cobra, and then push-up, walk it back up to standing position, we'll do that two more times, walk it out, cobra, Child's pose, back to cobra, and then walk it back up one more time, guys. Whew. Nice hamstring stretch, walk it out. Back bend, slip the butt back and down, back into cobra, and then walk it back up, just like that. Awesome. Next, we're gonna go into a world's greatest stretch. This is a lunge stretch, so you're gonna take one big step forward. Opposite hand goes to the ground. Inside elbow is gonna go as low as you can on the inside part of your foot. Take that same arm, reach for the sky, press your hips down, okay? Place your knee down, rock it back for a hamstring stretch. Okay, let's go back into it again. So, opposite hand down, inside elbow to the ground, Back knee up, reach for the sky, back knee down, rock it back for a hamstring stretch once more. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. So, big step forward, opposite hand down, back knee up, inside elbow to the ground, nice big stretch on the inner thigh and groin. Same side, arm goes up to the sky, 
Place the knee down, rock it back for hamstring scoop. One more time, lunge forward, inside elbow, back knee up, reach, 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 back knee down, come back for hamstring stretch. Feel free to take this one for more reps if you need more of a stretch. This one's my favorite one. Nice. All right, next up, we're gonna go into quadruped position. So on all fours, hands and knees. We're going, opening up one arm all the way to the sky, as high as we can go, push away from the ground. Now take that same arm, you're gonna thread it through underneath the opposite arm, drop your shoulder to the ground or as low as it can go. Place some pressure on the back of your hand. Now go up again, same thing, we're gonna repeat three, three times. Deep breath out as you go down. One more. Reach, reach, reach. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Going opposite hand up to the sky, reach. Thread that arm through the opposite one. Put some pressure on the ground with the back of your hand. And repeat, let's go three reps. Feel free to take this one for as many reps as you want. Helps really open up the back, open up the spine. Just like that. Awesome, I feel pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and hop back up. Now let's go into some lower body stretches. We're gonna go into knee hugs first. So just alternating in place. So pulling that knee up to the chest and I like to go across the body a little bit to get more of a glute stretch. So let's do about four to five of these on each. Feel free to take it as many times as you want. All right, next we're gonna go into cradle stretch. So you're gonna pull up at the ankle and the knee and we're gonna get a little bit higher on the glute in the piriformis muscle, which is at the top of the hip. Try to pull up evenly between the ankle and the knee. Next, we're gonna go into a quad stretch, which is just pulling your foot back and up. Press into your hand a little bit. Okay, and let's alternate. Press into your hand for a deeper stretch. You're going to be doing a lot of quad work today. You'll feel a nice little burn, so make sure you get a good stretch in the quads. All right. Next will be a groin stretch. So we're going to go nice wide stance. Okay, and then we're going to sit and sink into one hip as well as tilt away from that hip because you'll get that stretched right through here. Come on up, let's go to the other side. Tilt away from the hip that you're sinking into. And up, let's go one more each side. And good. All right, next up we're gonna go into a chest stretch. So I like to use a wall. For this, you can use a doorway or a wall. Let's go about face height, hand goes up. You're gonna torque your body away from the wall and then push your shoulder forward for a nice little chest stretch here. What I like to do is go in and out of this stretch just to keep it dynamic. Make sure you're breathing. Trying to push a little bit further every time you go into it. Let's go ahead and switch sides. You gotta twist your body away from your arm. All right, we're gonna go into a deltoid stretch next. So, bringing one arm straight across and you're gonna pull back on that arm and then push into your top arm to get a nice stretch through the deltoid here. 
in, I like to kind of alternate, switch, and go back and forth just to keep it more dynamic. Let's go just a few times on each side here. All right, now we're gonna go into a tricep stretch. So, hand goes over the shoulder. You're gonna pull back and down on the elbow to get a nice stretch in the tricep here. So again, pull, I like to release and switch to the other side. Just a few, almost done with the warm up guys. Let's get started pretty soon. And relax, okay, last one is gonna be a trunk twist. We're gonna go feet nice and wide, just outside shoulder width. We're gonna go hands out, palms up, and we're gonna give big rotations here. Just open up the back and mobilize the spine a little bit. You'll feel some stretches in the obliques. Just relax. Next, you're gonna go similar Trunk twist, but now you're gonna hinge at the hips, back stays flat, okay? And this is gonna be more of a golf swing. All right. Feel free to stretch a little bit more before we start, but we're gonna go into our first sequence of exercises. This is gonna be four different exercises. You'll need your dumbbells, uh, again, it's Beneficial to have a heavier set and a lighter set just in case you need to switch back and forth. If something's too heavy, you go lighter. We're gonna start off with a squat to shoulder press. So I'm gonna show you that, grab your dumbbells. So what that's gonna look like is dumbbells at your side, you're going to squat down, nice and low, curl, press, okay? That's one rep, we have eight, sorry, 10 reps, 10 reps. That's gonna be a squat, curl, press. Okay, let's get into it. That's five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Ten. Go ahead and place those dumbbells down. Next, we're gonna be in a push-up position, but for shoulder taps, not push-ups. Your legs are gonna go wide outside of the mat. From here, we're trying to keep our hips square to the ground. We're gonna lift one hand, tap the opposite shoulder, trying not to let the hips swivel. We're going for 20 total reps, guys. Go for it. Keep your core tight, neutral spine. Keep those hips square to the ground as best you can. Fifteen. I got five more. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Next, we're gonna go on our back. This is gonna be a hamstring walkout. So from your back. You're gonna go up into a glute bridge position. From here, you're gonna walk one leg nearly straight, follow with the second leg, back up, back up. One, one, two, two. One, two, two. We got 10. And we're gonna switch after five, switch directions. Now I'm gonna go left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, right. I got three more rounds. Two, and one. For me, that's 10 reps total, five each way. Next up, we're gonna go into a weighted dead bug. So, I'm gonna take my 20 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna go straight up over my face. Okay, knees come up to 90 degrees, feet come off the ground. 
Now the weight is gonna go just a little bit over my head. From here, I'm going to crunch and extend one leg, return, extend the other leg, return. Goal is to keep your low back on the ground the whole time. Keep a crunch, and we're going for 20 reps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Okay, set your dumbbell back. That's all four exercises in the first sequence. We're gonna do that three times, okay? Going back to squat, to curl, to press. Let's get it. Dumbbells in either hand, keep shoulder width apart. Let's go. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, last one, 10, relax, put those down, coming into shoulder tap, back to push up position, legs outside of the mat, hips stay square, 20 reps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, going into a hamstring walkout on your back. Remember, five each direction. Hips up, I'm going right, left, right, left for five reps, then switching. Two, three, four, Five, switch, one, two, three, four, five. Awesome, grab your dumbbell, going into a weighted dead bug, holding the dumbbell up overhead, knees at 90, low back on the ground, nice and crunched, and extend one at a time, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Going back to the top. We got one more round of those, you guys. Back to squat, let's go. Grab your weights, we're going. Press, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine, last one. Ten. All right. On the ground for shoulder taps. Twenty reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Or one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And string walkouts. One last one of these. Hips up. Nice contraction in the glute. Go ahead and extend. Right, left, right, 
Left is one. Two. Three. Four. Five, switch sides. One. Two. Three. Four. And last one, five. Bring it in. Relax. Grab your dumbbell. Last set of dumbbell weighted dead bugs. Hips nice and crushed. And extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Woo! Man, I'm sweaty, but it feels really good. Hope you guys are doing okay. That was the first sequence of exercises. Now we're gonna move on to another four exercises. We're gonna go through three rounds again. First one, it's gonna be a single leg hip thrust. You'll need to pull your chair or your bench out over your mat. Then we have dumbbell lateral raise. So you'll need most likely the lighter set of dumbbells for these, depending on how heavy your dumbbells are. Um, then we have single leg, sorry, we have dumbbell lateral raise, we have Cossack squat, so that's gonna be Wide stance like this, holding a dumbbell, dropping into either hip. And then the last one is gonna be a tricep dip. So you'll, again, you'll need your bench, and we're gonna go dips. Okay, so the first one, we're gonna go back on the bench. Okay, upper back on the bench, just like this. All right, now you have the option to do single leg or double leg. If you need more of a challenge, go single. You're gonna lift one like this, drop the hips, and extend at the hips. For eight reps on each side. Two, three, four. You can go double, double leg if you need to, and just get more reps at a lighter weight. Seven and eight. I'm gonna switch sides. Here we go. Drop the hips. Your whole back is gonna move as one unit, so you're not gonna drop your butt below your back, you're just gonna rock it forward. Five, six, all the way to the top, get a nice contraction of the glute, and eight, relax. Okay, going into a dumbbell lateral raise. Grab your dumbbells, and we're gonna go slight bend in the, slight bend in the elbows. We're gonna go just a little bit forward, so not completely out to the side. Just a little bit forward with both arms. This is gonna be for 10 reps. Nice controlled reps. Again, slight bend. Go lighter if you need to. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Next up we have a Cossack squat, so holding I like to go one dumbbell at your chest like this. From here, we're gonna drop into one side. And we have eight on each. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome. Okay. Next up, we're going into a tricep dip. So find your bench or chair. Okay, palms at the edge. Scoot your hips forward. Option to go straight leg or bent leg for a little bit easier. I like to go straight leg, and then we're gonna drop straight down, 
Just until our elbows get to about 90 degrees, push up to full extension. We got 10, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. That's going to be our second sequence of four exercises. So we're going to start back at the top, single leg hip thrust. So back on the bench. Here we go. One leg up for eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Going into lateral raise, so grab your dumbbells. Slightly forward, slightly bent, and lifting out to the side. Got 10 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, moving on to our Cossack squat. Nice wide stance, eight each side, sitting into each hip. Butt goes way back. Try to put some pressure into your heels and let that knee travel over the front part of your foot. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. All right. Back into tricep dip. Whew, I am sweating. Feels really good though. Here we go. Legs straighter bent. We're gonna go 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10. All right, shake it out a little bit, catch your breath. We're gonna go into one final set of that, starting with a single leg hip thrust. Let's go, you guys. I'm so proud that you've made it this far already. Let's keep up the good work. All right, upper back on the bench. One leg up, eight reps each, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Relax. Go ahead and pop up, grab your dumbbells for lateral raise. Last set of these. Here we go. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax, here we go, close up squat. Nice wide stance and dropping into those hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more, here we go, eight, seven, Six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Sit that down, we're going into a tricep dip. Last one in the set. 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And relax. Good. Oh man. Tough. Grab some water if you need it. Catch your breath really quick. We're gonna go into the third and final sequence of four exercises. First exercise is a Bulgarian split squat. So you're going one foot back up on the bench. You're gonna to have to scoot forward a little bit. Back foot up on the bench. We're gonna sink down and up. Okay, we got eight reps on each side there. We're going Bulgarian split squat. We're gonna go single leg RDL. So holding one weight, we're gonna drive the foot back into a single leg RDL, I'll show, you, I'll show you how to do that. Then we're going into a beast push up, which I'll show you. And then the last one is gonna be a bent row with our dumbbells here, okay? Okay, here we go. Bulgarian split squats, the first one. Back foot on the bench. Whatever feels right for you, go ahead and scoot your foot forward. We're gonna sink down and back a little bit. Eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, lost, sorry. six, two more, seven, eight, switch sides. Here we go, chest up nice and tall. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew. Burns. That feels good. All right. Grabbing your dumbbell. You can go pretty light on this, but we're going to go into a hinge forward. This leg stays relatively straight. Back toe pointed down towards the ground, back flat, neutral spine. Go until you feel a stretch in the hamstring. We got eight reps on each leg. Two. Three. If you need to, keep this back foot down. Go into a B stance, RDL. If it's too difficult to go from one leg. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, and relax. So let's switch legs. Whoa, I'm sweating. Here we go. One, two, back foot down. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and relax. All right, next is what's called a beast push up. So, let's head to the ground. I'm gonna go up into push up position. Okay, we're going to push our hips back, but keep our knees off the ground. Then push forward, down into a push up. We got 10 of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, feel free to just go from your knees on that one. It's okay, you don't have to do a full push-up. 
Next up we have bent rows. So grab your dumbbells. You can probably go a little heavier with these. We are going to hinge at the hips. Back stays neutral, push the hips back. Slight bend in the knees. Okay, weights in front. From here, we're gonna drive the elbows up and back. Nice controlled reps. Slow on the way down. 10 reps here, guys. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This might be the hardest set out of all three. We're gonna go back into Bulgarian split squat. Dogs here. We're going back into Bulgarian split squat. Back foot on the bench. Step forward a little bit. And here we go, eight reps on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch sides. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Woo! Going into single leg RDL. Take your dumbbell, hinging at the hips. Back leg goes up. Until you feel a stretch right in that hamstring, slight bend in the knee. Keep your back flat the whole time. Weight stays relatively close to your body. You got eight, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax. Going into beast push up. Here we go. Hips go back almost to your heels. Rock forward. Down into push up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Woo! I am so sweaty. Here we go. Into our bent rows. Hips go back. Back stays flat, chin tucked, and we're rowing up and back. 10 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Good job, guys. We finished with two rounds. Hard part is almost over. We got one more set. I know you can do it, guys. Stay strong. I'm proud of you for making this far. Let's go. Let's finish strong here. Going into Bulgarian split squat. Feel free to add some dumbbell weight to this if you like. Here we go. Eight reps each side. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax, single leg RDL. Grab one dumbbell or two if you need more weight. Here we go. Reach forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one. Eight, switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Eight. Relax. Woo! Beast push ups. Here we go. Again, feel free to drop two knees on these. Here we go. Sit the hips back, drop down, core tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, nice. And final exercise of today before we go into our stretch and mobility series. Dumbbell bent row. Let's finish strong, you guys. Here we go, hands with the hips, back and up. 10 reps, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! Oh man, guys, I'm worked, sweating, the storm. But I feel good. I feel like we hit every part. And uh, yeah, I feel really good. I hope you do too. We're gonna go into some stretch and mobility now. So go ahead and have yourself a seat. Oh. <laughs> okay. So with these, we're gonna lay straight, straight on our back, flat on our back. We're gonna go one leg up, and we're gonna pull back with our hand for a nice hamstring stretch. We're gonna hold for about 15 seconds here. Keep breathing, guys. Nice slow breaths, you'll slow your heart rate down. You guys did great. Let's pull this leg across the body. Try to keep your chest facing up. And then pull your leg a little higher this way. Okay, open up the back a little bit. Try to drop your shoulder to the ground. And let's switch. So opposite leg up. Pull back. And let's go across body. Let it drop to the ground. And just relax into it. Try to pull your leg up. All right, and come on up. We're gonna go. <laughs> We're gonna go into 90-90s, so 
feet about shoulder width apart here. We're gonna drop both knees to one side, try to get both knees down. Keep your chest forward. And then we're gonna drop to the other side. So just open up your hips. We're gonna switch back and forth a few times here. Next, we're gonna go into a pigeon stretch. So, facing down, we're gonna drive one knee up and across, and then we're gonna sink down into that hip. You should feel it in the upper hamstring and the glute in the hip. Okay, so just rock in and out of this. Chest can go forward for a deeper stretch. Feel free to hold for as long as you can. Let's go ahead and switch. Sink nice and deep. And relax. Go ahead and pop on up. We're gonna go into a quad stretch to finish. Feel free to stay and stretch for as long as you need. You can go into the upper body stretches that we started with in the very beginning. We go into quad stretch now. Hold your balance, use something for balance if you need to. And we're pulling back for quad stretch. Again, thank you so much for showing up today for yourselves. Um, you know, it's really important that we pay our bodies back for everything that they do for us. Um, so I'm proud of you for being here. Thank you for being on this fitness journey with us. And I uh, hope to see you in many, many more of these workouts. Go ahead and switch sides. Whether you're doing this in the beginning or the end of your day, I hope it brings a little bit of light to you and your day, knowing that you put in some work, you put in that daily deposit to get better and just to be the best version of ourselves. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for coming, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you on the next episode of Active Club.